There's two primary reasons people post their photos online, to get them seen and to get them sold. In this video, I'm gonna show you my strategy to make those two things happen. Let's get started. Hi, my name is James Wheeler. I've been posting my travel landscape photos online for about 10 years now, and I've had a lot of successes and probably even more failures. But through that, I've come up with a strategy that really works for me for posting my photos online. Now, before I get into it, if this is your first time at the channel, make sure to go in and subscribe, as well as if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps share the video with more people. Now, before I get into my strategy, I really need to define what my goals are. Now, my primary goal is really to share my travel experiences and the beautiful places that I see, as well as I really like to inspire other people to travel to those places. However, as I got better at photography, I added another goal in there where I would like to make enough money from my photos to pay for all my camera equipment as well as pay for my travels. Now, if you want to get more information about, you know, how much money I make selling my photos online, I've got another video for that and I'll put a link right up around here somewhere where you can go in and take a look at that video if you want to now. Now, one of the important things to note here is that for me, those goals are in order, meaning that it is really more important for me to create beautiful photos and share them with people online than it is to make money. So my, my strategy is to regularly upload single photos to many popular websites with full data so that they can be found. Now, what I'm gonna do is break down each of those items there. So regularly uploading a single photo at a time, many different sites, as well as including full metadata. Now, the reason that I say to upload single photos regularly can really be summed up in two words, social media. If you think about a social media platform like Instagram or Facebook, most people are going to initially discover your content by going through and looking at a feed. Now, when they go through and look at a feed, they're primarily going to be shown one image. So it doesn't make sense to go and put them in a carousel in Instagram or add them to a gallery in Facebook because as they're scrolling through, they'll only see the first image. Here's an example. Most people won't click in to look at the gallery. So even if you have four photos that are similar, it's often best to upload those four photos on four separate days as single photos as opposed to uploading them as a gallery because you'll get more exposure that way. The second point in the strategy is to upload to many different sites. Now, some people may disagree on this depending on their goals. If your goal is to build a community around your photos and around your photography, then it may be a better idea to focus on one site and put all of your energy into uploading and building the community on one site before moving to multiple sites. However, if you want your photos to just get seen by a lot of people and to be found by a lot of people, I find it's much better to upload them to a lot of different sites. Right? Different types of people are going to use different sites. Some people like Facebook, some people like Twitter, some people like Instagram. Right? Stock buyers are often going to be on the Microsoft sites looking for photos there. So if you really want to get the most out of people seeing your photos, you need to upload them a lot of different places. That brings us to the last point of the strategy, and that's to make sure you include metadata in your photos. Now, if you don't know what metadata is, it's just data that describes other data. So in the case of photography, what you wanna make sure you do is that you have captions and descriptions and keywords associated to all of your images. Also, if you're posting them on the social media sites, you wanna make sure you've also got them tagged with different hashtags. Now, the reason this is important is that when people go looking for your photos, what the search engines do is they use this metadata to decide which photos to show them. Let me show you an example. If I type in Galliano Island stock photography, and then I go over to the images section in Google search, you can see that a number of these photos here are my photos. And I know from experience that people do search on this, find my photos, and then they'll go in and purchase, purchase licenses. So it's really important to include this metadata in all of your photos. Also, one thing to note, if you're doing outside photography or travel and landscape photography, another piece of metadata that's really good to include is the geotagging information. And that's it. That's my strategy for posting photos online. If you want more information about how I actually implement this strategy and what my workflow looks like, I do have a YouTube video on that, and I'll post a link to that YouTube video maybe around here somewhere. 
Also, if you'd like to better understand how much success I've had with my strategy and how much I make selling my photos online, I also have another video on that and I'll put a link down here somewhere. Lastly, if you found this useful at all, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button below and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Best of luck posting your photos online.